Hello pupils, this is the English class on School on Air. In today's lesson, we'll be looking at the topic called identification of objects. We've been looking at this topic for a while now. And on that, this topic, we have a subtopic called objects at home. Objects at home. Now, at the end of today's lesson, you should be able to identify objects usually found around the home then you should be able to name some of these objects and you should be able to form sentences with them now we have materials that we'll be using in today's lesson we have pic a picture of a home a picture of a home that has different rooms in the home where we have different objects that we will be identifying as the lesson goes on now what is a home first of all we need to know what a home is a home is a place where we live with our family a home is a place where we live with our family now we have different rooms in the home first of all we have a home now here are some of the rooms that we have inside the home or inside the house first of all we have the living room we have the living room now there are some objects that are usually found in the living room or what some of you know as the sitting room there's a picture on the screen right now it's a picture of an example of a living room or a sitting room as you can see we have different objects there i can see a wall clock I can see a television, I can see chairs or sofas, I can see a table and another chair, I can see a bookshelf and a piano. Also, there's the window, there's a flower pot. Now, those are the things that I could see. But now we have another picture on the screen and it has objects usually found in the living room. Like I mentioned earlier, we, can, we have the TV, that's a television. We have the radio, we have chairs, we have the table, we have an air conditioner, and we have a fan. Now, another room in the home is the bedroom. Now, we have a picture of a bedroom, a typical bedroom, and of course, we can see some objects in the bedroom. Some of the objects that we can see around the bedroom include the bed, of course, the bed, chest of drawers where you keep your clothes and stuff we have a wardrobe or a closet where you can hang your clothes we have a fan we have an hanger and a lot more like that we have tables we could have a mirror a dressing table and some other objects like that now another room in the home is the kitchen it's the kitchen now we all know what we do in the kitchen that's where you cook your meals you make your meals you have your you make your food now some of the objects that we have in the kitchen include pots we have knives we have forks we have spoons we have plates we have a tabletop or a counter where you can do your work we have the sink where you wash your plates and so many other objects in the kitchen also these are still some of the objects you can find in the kitchen we have the stove we have the refrigerator we have plates cups kettles we have the microwave oven and all other objects like that now going to forming sentences with these objects we're going to try to form some sentences using these objects, some of these objects that we have identified around the home. We have a very big television in my house. This statement says we have a very big television in my house. Now notice that we use the word television and that can be found, remember, in the living room. Now, here is another sentence 
it says i sleep on a bed i sleep on a bed a bed can be found in the bedroom so i sleep on a bed that is a sentence that you can form with the bed here is another sentence it says switch on the fan please switch on the fan please now this fan can be found either in the living room or in the bedroom so somebody that is feeling hot can say switch on the fan please another sentence here says never play with a knife never play with a knife most times we should let the adults like our parents or our older brothers and sisters handle the knife as children we shouldn't play with a knife so this sentence says never play with a knife now here is another sentence it says eat the yam with the fork eat the yam with the fork I'm sure a lot of you enjoy eating yam and then you eat your yam with the fork now today we've learned the different objects that we can find around our home we've seen the different rooms that we also have around the home remember that we looked at the living room the kitchen the bedroom those rooms can be found around the home and we also looked at some objects that you can identify within these rooms we have also been able to form simple sentences with some of these objects remember that we looked at like for example the knife do not play with a knife switch on the fan please those are some examples of some sentences that we formed with the objects that we can find around our home now against next lesson i would like you to do this when you're free identify and mention where you can find the following in the house identify and mention where you can find the following in the house or in the home where can you find a knife where can you find a television where can you find a pot and where can you find a bed now i hope you enjoyed today's lesson and you can also form simple sentences with the objects that you can find and identify around the home. Till next time when I come your way again, it's goodbye for now. Mm -hmm.